In this A2 Music Tech revision session, we're going to look at music theory. Now I'm going to start to sound like a bit like a broken record because one of the big things for both music theory and listening and analyzing is regular practice. You can't get good at these sort of things just to cram it into one or two days. You need to be thinking about your 20 minutes a day for as long as possible, okay? So that's my broken record bit. Regular practice. Music theory is something that needs to be practiced, um, especially if you're a beginner. Now, most of what you learn in AS is transferable to A2, which is fantastic. The same rules apply. Mostly everything that you did in AS, you're going to do again, just probably more intensive, okay? So some of the things that you're going to need to understand. As said before, understanding notes and rest values. Reading both the treble and the bass clef. You'll also probably need to read the drum clef as well. Reading chord constructions, so un understanding how to construct a chord, a major, a minor, probably a seventh chord as well, and some others, probably sixth as well, so more in-depth chord constructions. Being able to correct and input note values on a stave, definitely. Being able to correct or input note values um, for a rhythm, definitely. Understanding tempo and understanding key signatures is going to be vital. Now. There is the best resource that I know of is completely free and it's musictheory.net. Well worth getting over there, trying out the exercise files, trying out the music theory lessons and just give yourself some regular practice. Also have a go at some of the have a go at some of the practice questions below as well. I've also included some terminology for this as well. So if you feel that you're confident enough in your music theory, have a look at the back of the music tech student guide and just go over some of the terminology that you're gonna need. Underline the terminology that you don't understand and do further research. So final thoughts, as said previously, regular training. Now below this video, you're gonna find loads of resources I definitely recommend going to musictheory.net, but I also definitely recommend having a look at the example questions at the bottom of the post, just so you get an idea for what you will be asked.